Once upon a time, there was a witch who, out of all the witches that ever lived, was the worst witch of all. She was a very ugly old hag, and because of that, she hated everything that was beautiful. Every time she came to a thing of beauty... How dare you sit there and smell good? She'd cast a spell upon it. Turn to seed, be a weed. Mm. Day after day, she would wander around the countryside casting her evil spells. Then one morning, as she was changing cute little white rabbits into bats... Wait on your little pink nose at me, will you? How do you like those apples? <laughs> That song, it's beautiful. Well, I'll fix that. Following the sound of the voice, she soon came to a castle. And there, sitting in the garden, was a young princess, the most beautiful princess in the kingdom. Wow, 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 wow. So! A witch! Good heavens, where, where? Don't be silly, I meant you. Me? Oh, yes, me. <laughs> and I'm going to cast a spell on you. A spell? What? For being beautiful. Is that bad? Well, you look like me, it is, honey. And with that, the witch cast a spell upon the poor little girl, changing her into a horse. Now you'll have to stay that way until a handsome prince comes along and kisses you, which will be never spilled, dear, because no handsome prince in his right mind will ever kiss a horse. <laughs> oh, darn. I hate days that start out this way. Alas. Being a horse was quite a new experience for the girl, but she made the best of it by spending the next six months grazing in a nearby meadow and switching flies with her tail. Then, one day as she was romping in a field, feeling her oats, a young prince and his lackey chanced to pass and... Look, Clyde, a wild horse. Yes, sire, and isn't she a beauty? Oh, I'll say. Look at those forelegs. Fresh. Uh, what do you say, Clyde? Nothing, sire. I'll bet a fine animal like this can run like 60. I'll capture her and enter her in the big race next Saturday. This was just the break Beauty had been waiting for. Now, if she could just think of some way to make the handsome prince kiss her, she would change back into a beautiful princess, which would make her very happy. The following Saturday, Beauty found herself at the track. But her mind wasn't on the race she was about to run. It was on the prince. I wonder what makes her pucker up like that. Uh, must have eaten something sour, sire. And then it was time for the race to start. Beauty was lined up at the starting gate with all the other horses and... Hang off! Beauty was off like the wind and in no time at all had left the other horses far behind. Come on, Beauty! Come on! Beauty flashed around the far turn, thundered down the home stretch. She seemed certain to win when suddenly, to the amazement of all, she slammed to a stop five feet in front of the finish line cuddled up on the ground and went sound asleep. The other horses thundered past and she lost the race. I hate to say this, sire, but I'm afraid that you got a sleeping beauty on your hands. Yes, I noticed that. The prince raced sleeping beauty again and again, but it was always the same. She would fall asleep just before crossing the finish line. I just have to take her to Merlin Roy, the wise guy. He'll know what to do. Merlin Leroy was the wisest man in the kingdom, and when the prince explained the problem to him... Uh, don't worry, young man. You just leave beauty with me for a few days. I'm certain I can get to the bottom of this sleeping business. And Merlin went to work. Now then, uh, just relax and think back as far as you can. Several days later, Merlin returned beauty to the prince and assured him that he had solved the big problem. Uh, it's very simple, lad. Beauty has a kiss complex. What? Tomorrow is the last big race of the season. And her beauty, and if she goes to sleep again, uh, just kind of, you know, kiss her on the nose. Needless to say, the prince was quite confused. But he did as Merlin had instructed, and beauty was in the big race the following day. Beauty was never in better form, and she ran like the wind. The other horses didn't have a chance, or so it seemed. But then, five feet in front of the finish line... <sighs> Seeing this, the prince dashed onto the track and kissed Beauty on the nose. And before his startled eyes, the horse changed into a beautiful princess. Of course, he lost the race again, but the prince didn't care. He was delighted with the beauty of the princess and quickly fell in love with her. And so, they were married and the prince lived unhappily ever after. Yes, that's right, unhappily. For you see, even though Beauty was no longer a horse... Thank <laughs> you.